y'all, can we talk about sin for a minute? Let's, let's spend some time exploring this idea of sin. Now, I know I don't do any visuals on my videos and I don't come with receipts usually, but I am in the process of putting together a properly packaged presentation utilizing scripture and science to present this idea this is part of the idea that will be presented in the package and that is about sin I hear religious folk talk commonly frequently about sin and you're living in sin oh y'all sin it y'all going to hell for that sin mm -hmm, girl looking down their nose you know at gay people beautiful gay people by the way lovely souls who deserve love just as much as the fact that I even speak about them in some way as though there's something peculiar about them hurts my heart actually they're beautiful people anyway <sighs> eating certain foods is a sin Drinking, oh, y'all know drinking is a sin. Cursing, oh no, if you curse, you're going straight to hell, Linda. You are going straight to the fiery pit. And I just heard someone uh, teaching about, yeah, well, we all we all struggle with sin. We all struggle with sin. It's an everyday struggle, sin. Trying to trying to work around sin and not commit sin. I don't know why every every religious person has a really thick southern accent. I, I, I'm not. That's you know why because you know why because I grew up you know between Pentecostal and Southern Baptist churches, and that's what they sound like. So that's my point of reference. But I don't know a single Christian who knows what sin is, and that's why I'm in your ear today. In my research, through my studies, through my visions, downloads, unpacking of the data, unzipping the data that's in my DNA, because our DNA contains, I don't know how many terabytes of data, it contains all the history of the universe, of the multiverse, it's all inside of you. Truth cannot be kept from you, it's everywhere, it's in all things. If you have a part, you have the whole, because this is a hologram. So that's another conversation it doesn't take away any of the fervor or richness or importance of it it's just it just is what it is so based on my exploration my staunch and perseverance persevere what word would that be anyway my research I worked really freaking hard on my conclusion at least my opinion as of this time as of what I can see perceive and understand sin is short for sign s-i-n-e and it's a sign is a pattern that's emitted by an electrical uh, an electrical apparatus the sine waves are many many things in this instance that's what I'm talking about so our body is a bioelectrical avatar. It's a bioelectrical meat suit. I, my friend Becca taught me that a long, long time ago. I love you, Becca, if you listen to this. And she unfriended me, but I still love her very much. I understand. You can't always, sometimes you just got to go, you know, somebody just gets on some shit that you're not about. And then maybe later you come back, maybe you don't. Doesn't mean I don't love you and they don't love me. I totally get it. But we are bioelectrical and when we take our essence and we put it inside of a body of flesh you know the bible says the sins of the flesh it says you are born into sin i never understood that as a child i'm like i'm sitting there you know in sunday school i'm terrified of hell by the way i believe everything they're telling me and i am afraid of hell and i'm sitting there thinking i didn't even i was already sinning and I ain't even, I was just crying for a booby or something. I was just laying in a shit diaper. What do you mean I'm sinning? How is this? What do you mean? I don't understand. How am I sinning? 
blew my mind. Never, by the way, ever. And I spent a lot of time in church. I spent a lot of time studying. I graduated from a Christian university. I never heard anybody teach on sin, what it actually is, or I never heard anybody even make it make sense. Like you aren't even bordering on anything logical. You're just counting on me being so afraid that I'll believe everything you say without asking you to make it make sense. Well, it can't make sense. That's where faith comes in. Get out of my face. There's an order to this. God, your God, my God, gave created order. There's order. There should be a logical train, a logical progression of thoughts and ideas from one thing to the other. Faith is is okay until you eventually realize that this does not unpack. It doesn't make sense. So I'm sitting here trying to understand how the hell I'm born into sin and sin's going to send me to hell, but it's in my body no matter what. How am I supposed to navigate this? And we tell children this. Well, it's a sine wave that is emitted by your avatar and it's distinctive. So before you get into the body, you had to get in the body to experience the third dimension, to experience duality, the knowledge of good and evil, blah, blah. You can't, humans, as far as I know, but there's so much I don't know. As of what I know right now, humans are the only beings who can equally touch light and dark at the same time. We're a bridge between light and dark. We can carry love and hate in the same body. And we use these bodies to experience duality, the knowledge of good and evil, right and wrong, dark and light. But when you put your essence, your soul stuff, your, your uh, atma, atma, depending on how you say it, when you put it inside of a human body, it begins to emit this bioelectrical frequency that creates a sine wave. And that has peaks and valleys and peaks and valleys. And for ease of conversation, this isn't technically how it is, but I'm in this body with my third dimensional limits. So this is my best description. As the peaks, it goes up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. As your as your dense, as you decrease your dense, okay, as you raise your vibration, as you move in love, as you move in compassion, as you don't bear down into dense flesh, third dimensional behaviors and thoughts and feelings like rage and worry and stress and anxiety and hatred and addiction and fear, you know, all of those things make the sine wave pattern that is emitted by the combination of your soul, your divine soul stuff inside of a third dimensional avatar. It, those, that, that combination, your, what you have bear, what you have bared down into As far as this is what I'm focusing on. This is what, this is my point of attention. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Florida 44 West, Highway 44 West. (laughs) So it, whenever you have decided, okay, I'm going to be in a higher vibration. I'm going to move, you know, again, with all those positive things I spoke about earlier, your sine wave pattern peaks are higher they get high. They don't go as low. They go high. They don't go as low. They stay relatively. Turn left on the Florida 44 West Highway 44. They West. stay relatively high. And as the peak goes up, pretend up there. And again, I know that this isn't. I, this is all I have to. Only words I have to use. But up there is the source energy. The source energy of where you came from. That's the higher, the truth energy. Again, the source code, the source energy. So as your your pattern, as your wave peak gets higher and higher, then your 
EMF that you're emitting from your body then commiserates with source energy, say God. Like, you know how the church talks about, Continue you know, on Florida um, West for three quarters of a mile. Sin, sin, uh, it keeps you away from God or sends you into the lake of fire. Um, sin makes God say, uh, you know, I don't know you get away from me type thing. This is not actions. This sin that they're talking about is not an action. It's not a, I stole a candy bar. I'm going to hell. It's not, I'm gay. I'm going to hell. It's not, none of that is true. None of that is true. That is In false. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Independence Highway. What it is, is if you have chosen to operate within the frequency and in a denser condition where you focus on these lower minded things and that becomes your primary gear, your default setting. If your default setting is, is, um, greed, you know, which would be, you know, the, the motivation behind stealing a candy bar. Although a lot of times that's just because somebody's hungry. I don't think the person who took something because they were hungry, I don't think that was a sin. That's not going to keep you away from God. Take the next right onto Independence Highway. I don't believe that. I don't believe that, period. I don't believe that a person who is gay is kept from commiserating on Independence with, Highway for two miles. with their creator because of their sexual orientation. You got me fucked up. That's not true. And that is not of God. That is not of God, of a true living God. So depending on your default setting, that, is, that determines your sine wave pattern peaks and whether they reach, so to speak, high enough to commiserate with the source energy. If your default setting is a dense setting, then you have your lower, when your sine wave pattern goes down, the troughs are much lower and much deeper and much denser. And then they come, that commiserates with the dense energy, the opposite of light. Really, this is just a light spectrum scale or an oscillation scale. So it really depends on the condition of your heart, whether whether you are operating in a way where you can co-mingle with pure, beautiful source energy or whether you are kept away from it through your dense default setting and your pattern, your peaks are high, that's source energy, extremely low, that's the dense energy, the so-called um, devil or whatever, you know, the, none of those words are right, but you, you get what I'm saying. That's the hell, the hell energy. And speaking of hell, um, the lake of fire is just what the fields look like, the color and what the fields look like when they vibrate and the molecules move, when the waveform patterns move in the dense fields. That's what the lake of fire is. And that energy is completely separated from source energy. And so that's why they say that that sin separates you from God. Really what you need to be taught is that you emit a sine wave and you need to be taught sine wave management, sine wave modulation. You need to be taught to be aware that this is happening. And then that determines actually not just where you go in the afterlife and that I'm not even touching that right now because that whole thing is a crock of horseshit, not the original teaching I think probably the original teachings were probably true and and accurate to the best degree that they could but what it has gotten turned into is a whole other thing so we need to be taught that our state of our heart what we run as a primary energetic through our bodies this is what changes things this is what makes the difference so that's what, in my opinion, sin is. It is the, the thing that your body emits no matter what. That's why you're born into sin. This is why it, it talks about, again, sin keeping you from God and then, you know, allowing you to pass into heaven. 
blah, blah, blah. So the person who's sitting at church on Sunday and Wednesday, who is sitting there, ha, ha funny, I'm passing a church right now. The person who's sitting there um, thinking they're holy and that they're going to heaven and, but at the same time, they're sitting there with a judgmental heart, judging the, you know, judging Teresa for the dress she wore today and worrying about my grandson who's gay. Oh God, I pray for his soul. When you pray for someone's soul, do you know how that reeks of judgment? Do you know how low, how dense and disgusting that kind of an intention is? That you're praying for someone's soul? Implying that you know the condition of their soul to begin with implying that you know anything about their relationship with their creator that is disgusting to me it is disgusting to me i've been in those services more times than i can count i've i've prayed those prayers more times than i can count without realizing what i was doing the base vibration the base frequency of that kind of an intention is based in judgment you are judging them and assuming that their soul is in bad in bad trouble because of their choices when you don't know anything about their heart a lot of times you don't especially with drug addicts and you know homosexuals and you know promiscuous women and even addicts you know, man, you don't, you don't know what's going on in their heart. And that's what matters. That's what sets the, your setting, your sine wave setting inside of your body. It is not about deeds. It is about intentions. It's about the condition of the heart. That sets your pattern. So you can do things, unloving things that temporarily lower your your peaks, of course. I I probably do it several times a day. I'm getting better, but with my road rage, and it's, I don't like the word rage. It's not really rage. It's more like aggravation. It's like road aggravation. Like I gotta stop that. It's such a waste of beautiful energy. Literally, such a waste of beautiful energy. Like what? What am I? What are you doing, Lisa? Come on, you know. But I keep a very close watch on my belly, on my heart space. And I keep a very close watch on what I'm emitting. I'm aware of it. And I'm not, not, not thanks to anything to do with a church or anything involved with a church or religion. They ain't going to ever tell you that they will never tell you. I don't think they believe it. I don't think they're knowingly lying. Please don't think that that's what I mean. They are not knowingly lying. They're all just repeating what the last person said. And they don't double check because they're afraid to double check. Because if you double check, you get treated like I do, like a heretic. <laughs> like a sinner who is going straight to hell. I had somebody say to me the other day, Yeah, sometimes I see those things you post on Facebook and I think, Man, is she a witch or something? She snarled her nose and creased her, her side corners of her mouth down and scowled. Is she a witch or something? I mean, that's what you get when, when you question. All that I'm doing is asking questions and drawing conclusions that are much more logical than what we have been told up until now. So they're just repeating they don't know. They'd be terrified of a conversation like this. They would think for sure that I'm adding or taking away from the Bible and I'm not. And they would think that I am questioning God. And they would think that because I'm questioning God that I can't have a good relationship. That's a whole other conversation too. So anyway, as, as this information gets downloaded into people and we begin to broadcast this, 
hopefully more and more. And I know there's so much more for me to learn. I, I am sure that what the conclusion that I have now where I've, I've landed today is going to be so different a year from now when I listen to this. I'm going to have so much more information. I'm going to have details and clarifications. So I'm looking forward to this journey. But rest assured, I'm on the journey. I am not just sitting back and believing anything blindly anymore. I'm crawling on bloody nubs towards the truth, whatever that means. I love you so much.